What's up, guys? We are back once again. We're finally going to be reviewing another movie on my list that I was able to finally watch. Spiral, the book of, from the Book of Saw. Now, this movie I was highly critiquing, not only through the movie itself, but also the story, the acting, the actors. Because, again, this stars Chris Rock, who is a detective, Zeke Banks, who, again, you know, me being a longtime fan of Chris Rock's work, again, you guys have, need to try to see this movie. First off, if you have not seen this film, go check it out. If you're a fan of Saw, go check it out. But if you want, do you not want no spoilers, I do highly recommend you guys click off this right now because we're going to be getting the heavy spoilers because this film really, I, I got to give Chris Rock a lot of credit to where it's due because I had no idea he was going to be able to pull off this kind of a role. But at the same time, he's able to give that comedic feel about him. And I think that's what re really helped him with this role because the way it goes is he is a detective. He turned in a dirty cop in his precinct. Everybody of course, hates him, he, you know, oh, he's a snitch, oh, he's this, he has no loyalty, and when this copycat of Jigsaw starts going after cops, and he finds out soon it's dirty cops, his newly formed captain assigns him a rookie partner to help him find out these cases of who's doing it and why, and we also have Samuel Jackson that takes the fold in this as well, that you know, legendary in acting, and he plays as Chris Rock's dad, who is the former uh, captain of the uh, police, and we don't really see him a whole lot in this film, I'm going to be honest, there's like, I want to say maybe a handful of scenes we see him in this, and he gives a lot of commentary and, you know, comedic relief in this as well, but the entire time of this film, it's the normal Jigsaw film you know, it, it's like who's doing it is not John Kramer. Again, it's not him. He's dead, but it this is a copycat, so to speak. I'm not going to give too much. It's not the original Jigsaw. I am going to say that it's not him. It's someone that is inspired by him to do this, and there's a big reason on why he's doing this, and you later find out in the film. Now, again, this was your normal thriller, drama slash horror, you know, flick. It, it had a lot of parts that, it, if you're not good with blood and gore or any kind of the regular stuff that Saw is known for, then you probably want to stay away from this film. But if you guys love Saw and you guys love this franchise and you guys love what it it can do, you know, the blood, the gore, the guts, the, the violence, the all, all the stuff that Saw is known for, then again, this probably is the movie for you. But, I, again, I gotta give it to my boy Chris Rock. He, he he really did kill it in this. I'm not used to seeing him in these type of films. I'm so used to seeing him in movies. Because, guys, you gotta remember, I watched movies from, you know, like The Longest Yard, Grown Ups, uh, you know, from Down to Earth, you know, him on Def Comedy Jam, and then doing stand-up in Madagascar, Everybody Hates Chris, you know, I can go on and on and on about all the movies I've seen this man in, and I'm actually shocked he did this good of a job at portraying a, not only a detective, but in person. Now, again, this ain't the first time that he's done a detective role. He's done it in uh, Amosis Jones. Of course, that was a cartoon. And he also did in Lethal Weapon 4. Now, again, it works if it's in his favor, I've noticed. If he does something that is where he can still do comedy, he can still poke jokes at people, and he can still be brother dibbling an asshole with somebody, then he can do it. And, and I think that's what really works for him as an actor. And I think that's what really works for him to... Uh, really just be who he is, you know, be that, like, hey, I can be an asshole, but I can also be your friend, and I think that's what really works for him as an actor, and this is what works for him in this movie, because he is kind of a prick, because he knows that he can't trust nobody, the entire force is dirty, and that's the reason why he doesn't want to want a cop, want to be a cop, he doesn't want, you know, because his captain, you know, does the whole thing, like from Rush Hour, you know, he's like, I don't want a partner, and unfortunately, he does get a partner, and his dad and everyone else gets mixed up in it, and slowly but surely, he's trying to figure out who this jigsaw killer is and he's you know targeting former cops as well as dirty cops so 
overall, I enjoy the film. Now, this will lead to a sequel if they're going to go forward the way the movie ends because, again, we find out who it is, which, spoiler alert, is going to be his uh, current partner because we find out that the current partner, he was the son of a shot witness that Chris Rock's former partner uh, shot and set up and he turned him in and he went through this whole deal of learning everything about Jigsaw as well as wanting to be a cop and getting in under false names and false pretenses and going after everyone that was basically dirty in the precinct. So again, at the very end, Chris Rock is in shock because now he sees his dad right in front of him. He's trying to save him. And then of course you see, uh, you know, his newly, former partner get away and it leaves us in an awe of going okay what's going to happen next and saw normally has that feel about doing that in movies and i think that's what we're going to probably expect from a sequel now i think this did very well uh what can i see this for a sequel probably maybe in about two years maybe i would say two years if there is going to be a sequel uh would i like to see chris rock return yeah i would i would like to see chris rock return uh, I think he did a great job. I think that he actually showed, hey, you know, I'm not just a comedy actor. I can be a thriller slash action star as well, which, again, he's done. But he, uh, he's more known for comedy. And I think this really got him to open up his horizon even more and kind of get away a little more from the, from the comedy, but still be able to put it in there when it works. And there's a few jokes in there that, that worked, and there's some that didn't. And I think they went a little too far on some scenes, but again, it did work to a certain degree. But overall, a very enjoyable movie. Very, uh, if you guys are a horror or thriller fan, you guys should check this out. Again, none of it is really predictable. Some parts where you think is going to be predictable, it's not. Some parts you think that are going to be predictable, they are. Some jump scares or, or scenes that's going to probably creep you out or make you cringe, that does happen. But overall, a very enjoyable horror thriller fix flick. So if you guys want to go see it go check it out let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments down below if you guys need a chance to subscribing thank you for your time thank you for the love and support if you guys need a chance to subscribing leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoyed also click the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time i upload hope you guys are enjoying your day wherever you are located in the world and as always i'll see you guys on the next one